Hi, my name is Lukas and in this video I will show you how to automatically unblock a content blocker you've just created yourself for your visitors. To do this we will use the dialogue that your visitors will see at the beginning when they visit your website. Of course you will need to have your own content blocker set up first. There's also a separate video on this that you can watch now if you don't have your own content blocker because that's necessary for this approach to work. To check if you already have your own content blocker all set up, you can simply click on blocker here at Bore Labs and open the content blocker section. Here we can see that I've already inserted my own content blocker. This is the Bore Labs website that I want to embed via iframe on this test domain. So you should have a content blocker like this active for this tutorial to work. To automatically unblock this content blocker through the dialog, we need a service. We can create the service under Consent Management Services by selecting a category. Since we want to embed an external website as content on our test domain, we would have to choose external media in this case. If we click on Add New here, we could enter c borlevs SID and then activate the status. Very important, as I've already mentioned in the other video, please use an ID that starts with a small c followed by a hyphen in this case, the C stands for custom. This is to ensure that you don't create an ID that Borlabs might use in the future, potentially causing conflicts. So please stick to this formatting and use lowercase letters. After that, you can scroll down here and enter the name of the service in plain text. For example, Borlabs website. Because this is what we want to do with the iframe. For the description, you would then enter if you agree here, content from the Borlabs GmbH website will be displayed on our website. Then you can scroll down a bit further and since we've already selected external media for the service group, we can leave that as it is. And then you can simply select the provider that we previously created in the content blocker video as mentioned. So if you haven't watched this video, then you can do it now. You can save this service now by clicking on save all settings at the bottom. However, for this to work automatically, we still need to connect this service with the content blocker that we created before. To do this, we go back to our content blocker, click on blocker up here and then on content blocker. Then for this example, I will choose the content blocker for the Borlabs website by clicking on the edit icon on the right side. In the service information section, we select the service we just created. To do so, open the drop down menu and then for this example, I will select Borlabs website. Again, that's the same exact service we just created earlier. And that's it. Now we just need to Press save all settings here and then we can already test everything. To do this, we go back to our test page and open it up in an incognito window. You can simply right click on the link and then open the incognito window. First, let's see what happens when you decline everything because then everything should still remain blocked. People who want to decline will not see this content automatically. So we decline everything by accepting only the essential cookies and the content remains blocked. By the way, here we can see what I achieved in the previous video. So this design of this content blocker is also thanks to our own content blocker. So if you haven't seen the video yet, feel free to watch it now. But now it gets exciting. Now let's see what it looks like when we accept everything. Because in this case, this content should be automatically loaded so that your visitor doesn't even notice that anything was ever blocked. To do so, we open the test page again in an incognito window by right clicking the link and open up an incognito window. The dialog appears again and to test if everything works fine, we will have to click on accept all. And then automatically, as you can see here, this content should be unblocked, indicating that this has worked. I hope the video was helpful for you. If you are looking for more information on Borlabs Cookie 3.0, feel free to check out the Borlabs knowledge base at borlabs.io slash support or search YouTube for more videos on Borlabs Cookie 3.0. You'll also find the mentioned video about the content blocker there or a video about how to add a service or a video about the scanner or a video about the library. With that said, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.